Hey, hey, my lovely, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about the health issues related to endometriosis. So please share it with somebody who needs to know it, okay? It will be health issues uh, that are caused uh, by endometriosis that are going hand in hand with endo or the health issues which are showing before endometriosis. So it's very, very, very interesting video. So please keep on watching. So number one is candida. Candida is a fungus that normally lives in your gut. And there's nothing wrong, you know, with this because we, as a human, we are made more, uh, we are literally more bacteria than humans. And everything is okay until we uh, keep this bacteria uh, under control, this fungus. Because if this fungus overgrow, then we we have a problem. So what can cause it uh, candida overgrowth? For example, taking antibiotics, taking the contraception pill, if you've been on the pill for many, many years, that can actually cause the candida uh, overgrowth. Uh, if you're eating a lot of uh, sugary stuff, um, starch-rich uh, uh, diet, that all contributes to a candida overgrowth. And it essentially... Uh, when the candida overgrowth is gets to your bloodstream and then it starts to move to other parts of the body, like for example, to vagina. So the trash, you know, if, if you itch it out there, this is nothing else than a symptom that you have too much of the bacteria, too much of the candida. So this is very, very interesting. Uh, what candida does, uh, it does adds extra toxin and strips our body of the vital nutrients it needs to stay healthy. It also has a hormone altering uh, effect. Uh, that means that if you are uh, trying to get healthy, but you're not dealing with this candida, with the extra bacteria, it will be very difficult for you to uh, give your body the nutrients because candida literally uh, strips you, your body from all the vital nutrients and uh, you need you need them to you know to be healthy uh, it's also uh, affecting your hormones and re you remember a uh, girls with endometriosis has to uh, we have to high estrogen and there have been many many connections made, made between the candida and endometriosis many authors and many uh, scientists believe that endometriosis is actually a result of candida overgrowth and here you can see uh, one of those researches you can even google it very very interesting huh another thing uh, yodine deficiency and endometriosis uh, Dr. Uh, Braunstein, in his research, proven that the lack of iodine in our diet can be directly linked to endometriosis and other abnormal growth in our bodies. Strong comparisons are made with the low in uh, uh, low uh, endometriosis and other related conditions in Japan, and the key dietary uh, difference is the high consumption of seaweed and seafood. Japanese girls eat a lot of seaweed and seafood, and they are less likely to have endometriosis than, for example, girls from Europe or from India who don't eat that much uh, uh, iodine-rich uh, um, uh, vegetables, for example. These foods are rich with iodine, uh, which... Uh, uh, having been tested on women with endometriosis shows significant, significant improvements. So iodine tablets, uh, iodine uh, drops, or even seafood, uh, very, very beneficial for us and the girls. Uh, iodine deficiency is also closely linked to the thyroid. Many and the girls also uh, seems to suffer from uh, thyroid conditions low iodine connection. If you are exposed to high level of chlorine or bromide, it can cause iodine displacement. It literally kicks out the iodine out of your body. And where is a lot of chlorine? Like for example, uh, if you are swimming, there's a lot of chlorine in the swimming pools and uh, in some water as well. Check um, flu fluoride and chlorine in the water you're drinking because you might be surprised. And if you uh, literally overdone with the chlorine or bromide, 
it can kick off the iodine out of your body. So it's very, very important to replace it again. Another strange connection is your mouth and endometriosis. And you might think like, what? <laughs> Your uh, your mouth is a breeding ground for the bad bacteria. There's like a lot of bacteria in our mouth. Uh, mercury fillings in the mouth can cause the leak of mercury into a body, causing a heavy metal overload. What that means, if you had like fillers in your uh, tube, the black ones and the one with silver uh, silver uh, filling, that means you have to replace them because they basically they are the old fillings and they make uh, the heavy metal, you know, leaking to your body. And it's very, very difficult to maintain the healthy uh, hormonal level if you have heavy metal overload. It's basically your liver, which is responsible for flushing off all the excess estrogen, all the excess um, things in your body. It will be literally overload. Uh, your liver, you know, will have uh, very big difficulties to cope and to flush out excess hormones. And excess hormones, more endometriosis, literally, <laughs> because the endometriosis is hormonal related illness. So please take care of your mouth, go and check, you know, um, because the endogers are very likely also to have the gum related uh, illnesses. You see this uh, research over there, over there, <laughs> endometriosis associated with periodontal disease. So it's mean that we endogers are more likely to have the gum disease. We have, uh, we are more likely to have all kind of uh, periodontal diseases. So it's very, very important to go to your dentist and get a check because that might be the missing puzzle of why you cannot put your endo into remission. Another strange uh, thing associated with endometriosis is endo and the joint pain. And I remember I used to have a pain in the left knee and in my hip. Let me know in the comment section if you can relate and if you also have a pain uh, associated with endometriosis. There was the study made in 2016 that report that as many as 50% of people with endometriosis may experience some form of leg pain, like leg pain or the hip pain. In some cases, endometrial tissue, uh, which, as you know, can travel everywhere, can grow in around many nerves and travel through the pelvis and the hips. These nerves supply sensation to the leg. Abnormal growth can put the pressure on the pelvic nerves. This might cause the pain and numbness in the hip, buttocks and the legs. So if you feel like strange pain, like, you know, on your bum or, you know, on your legs, this is actually endometriosis uh, growing somewhere next to your nerves. And that's why you're feeling it. Please let me know in the comment section below if you can relate to any of this. Does it sound familiar? And this is the study that proved uh, that endometriosis um, up our risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. I know, I know it's very much not optimistic, <laughs> but you know, guys, we have to uh, take care of each other and we have to spread this knowledge further. So please, if you discover something new, if you have any aha moment, please share it with other girl because there are very strange and hidden symptoms of endometriosis and it takes five years a, in average for the girl to get diagnosed. So please, you know, we should all come together and heal together and help each other. So please subscribe and share this video with any other girl you can think of. And I will see you in another video in another week. Please let me know in the comment section below if this video related was relatable. And let me know in which other uh, subject you want me to cover. I love you so much and I see you very shortly. Bye.